In this video, we're going to cover how to set the tax rate in your copy of FM Starting Point. Now this is a newly shot, updated version of our video because really how the tax rate is set up and how it's managed in the US version is somewhat different than how it's set up and managed in the UK and also in the EU. So this video really has two parts in it, kind of the US part and then in the latter part we talk about the value added tax which is kind of similar to a sales tax in the United States but it's managed somewhat differently. So first off let's dive into a US version of FM starting point. I'm gonna bring it up here. I'm gonna dive over into the invoices section and what I have here is I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can read more of this. But typically in the United States we have situations where a product, either a physical product or sometimes an electronic uh, download product is taxable. Frequently labor in the United States is not taxable. Now you need to check the rules and regulations on your jurisdiction but that seems to be the norm certainly in California certainly mostly in Texas there are some variations a little bit but generally labor is not taxable but a product is taxable and so that gets into this idea where we can set a tax rate here and you enter it as a decimal so if it's seven and a half percent it'd be 0 0.75 it represents itself as 7.5 percent and so in this case it's taxing this line here two dollars and 48 cents this labor right here we set it not to tax if we want to tax it we just turn it on or turn it off now what's important to understand is that when you create a new invoice you don't get a tax rate in here by default so if you know that your business is going to have a consistent tax rate then what we can do is we can actually go to file down to manage over to database this is where we're managing the schema of the database the fields and relationships and things like that these are the fields uh, and invoices and I'm going to scroll down to sales tax let's see SA sales tax rate right here it's a number if I press the options right here button um, I can set an auto enter value for this so I can say it automatically enters say if I wanted eight and a half percent I could put 0 0.085 and that is the mathematical representation of 8.5 percent so I hit OK I hit OK now it doesn't retroactively change previous invoices but if I create a new invoice then we see that we have the 8.5 percent down here now understand the United States as we add a product in here I say this is a, a widget and it's maybe the unit cost is 10 and we sell it for 15 or something like that that the tax rate is going to be universal for the entire invoice that's something that's somewhat specific to, to the United States so the entire invoice is subject to a standard tax rate but that tax rate might be applied individually on certain line items whereas if I had the widget install installation which would be a labor charge say the widget you know this happens all the time when you buy you're getting a car repaired you got a a fifty dollar part but you have uh, you know four hundred ninety nine dollars of uh, labor so you would tax the widget but they don't tax the labor so once again you see here that we're taxing just this first item here and it's one dollar and twenty eight cents now within the United States it can get somewhat more complicated because frequently they want you to collect the taxes at the location of the transaction and they consider the location of the transaction is where the person is who places the order so if they come into your store it's easy enough it's wherever your store is but if they're doing a lot of online or phone ordering then theoretically you're supposed to charge a sales tax rate for the location that they're in what gets really interesting within the United States is that some jurisdictions counties or parishes or geographical regions and even some cities will have different tax rates. For example, in California, the, the tax rate will be around 8% or 8.5%. And then a local jurisdiction can decide that they want to charge an extra half a percent because they want to raise money for local schools or police or to feed homeless people, whatever. So they will add a tax rate. So depending upon the jurisdiction, you might have a different tax rate. So what we've done to improve FM starting point is added a lookup tax function for the people who are in the United States. Now, 
This can be adapted, obviously, to the EU and the UK, and we'll kind of cover that conversation in the last half of this video. But So what we've done is that if you are shipping product and you have to take into account the tax rate at the location where the product is being shipped to or the billing address of the person, once again, talk to your tax advisor, but odds are you're going to have the billing address or the shipping address. You have to have the ability to accurately look up the tax rate based on that address of that order. So starting with FM Starting Point 508 Enhanced, which is the paid for version of FM Starting Point that you get with the complete bundle, is that if you've gone down that route and paid for all our training courses, then you get this enhanced version of Starting Point. This Starting Point is integrated. It will talk to a free online service called Avalar Tax. And Avalar Tax has a free service called AvaTax. And what it does, it looks up the tax rate based upon all these cities and counties at the billing or shipping address that you specify. And so it will actually give you the tax rate based upon today's rates. Because of all these jurisdictions, they're all run by politicians that are on different schedules around the country. They all do their own thing. And some of them want to charge more, some want to charge less. Some of them change the rates all the time. So this Avalar Tax is a specialized online tax service. If you're looking for a tax lookup within the United States, that's free, completely free. And we've actually built all the hooks in here for FM Starting Point already in advance. Now, Avalar Tax will also do tax lookups into Europe and the UK, etc. But that is a paid service. So if you're interested in seeing us hook that into Europe or the UK, email us and let us know. But it's not that hard. So what we've done with the FM Starting Point Enhanced version is that we put the code in here so it goes out to Avalar Tax and does this. Now you do need to set up a free account with Avalar Tax. They're going to give you a string of information, a little token, a, a series of numbers. It's kind of your unique secret ID. You're going to paste that in and then it will start to work. So that's pretty cool. That's part of FM Starting Point Enhanced if you want to use it. Now, as a reminder, with Enhanced, all this functionality is on the side of the screen. It's not on the main screen. So as a result of that, it's a side nugget. If you want that technology on the screen, you have to go into layout mode and bring it onto the main layout itself to activate it. So that's a really cool feature enhancement to FM Starting Point. Let's jump over to the UK and EU versions. These two versions operate a value-added tax, and basically the process is identical between the two. The rates might be different, but how they operate and how they're set up in FileMaker or in a, on an invoice are the same. So what I'm going to do is go to invoices here. I'm going to note that there is no tax rate down here. And you go, well, how do we put the tax rate in? That's because the tax rates vary based upon the kinds of items. So for those of you not familiar with the EU, they uh, so if you have baby food or baby clothes, something like that, um, we had a line for that. Uh, we would just simply say, you know, if we had a uh, baby uh, food, uh, apples, right? Applesauce, applesauce. And you could have a price of $2.95 euros or something like that. And you would say done. This, so what you would have is baby food might be taxable at a rate of like 5% or it might not be taxable at all. So instead of turning on or off line items and then having a tax rate applied to all of them, here with the value added tax it's going to be a tax rate that will vary based upon the kind of item it is so if it's a luxury item it might be taxed at 50 percent or more once again this is country specific i was looking at france the other day and they had four tax brackets which was similar in some ways to the uk which had a, a set of tax brackets the numbers were somewhat different uh, from country to country, but you get the idea. So this is how the EU and the UK versions are set up, slightly different. So as you visit, for example, the products uh, table over here, you can actually set up uh, the uh, product and you can specify the associated value added tax that goes with it that you're expected to collect and report on. So that's an important understanding here as a difference between these two and how to set these up. Now, as a reminder, the AVA tax service is worldwide and it does support the folks in the UK and the EU. Those are paid services. Once again, this company is making certain simple services free and they've elected to make the basic tax lookups in the United States free. But then if you want to upgrade and have it uh, chase the tax rates in different countries, etc., 
and if you're actually going to collect tax in those countries because you're going to collect and then provide that tax income back to those countries, then AVA tax might be useful for looking that information up. The cost is pretty minimal, but it's very useful if you have a serious business where you're shipping product across the country or across the world. I could see the AVA tax being a great integration point. And of course, using FileMaker 16 with its improved API, JSON, and curl capabilities, that greatly aids in connecting FileMaker to other outside services. So this video is kind of basic if you just want to change the rate and the rate's constant everywhere. If you want the rate to be dynamic in the US, you can use the enhanced version of FM Starting Point. If you don't have the enhanced version of FM Starting Point, the only way to get it is to buy the complete bundle from RCC, which the price is around $249. And with $249, you get all the courses and a full copy of the current release of FileMaker Pro. It's definitely worth the money. You save a ton of time. You can get ahead in what you're doing. If you're looking for AVA integration for Europe or the UK, feel free to reach out to my team here at RC Consulting or find a good qualified FileMaker developer in the UK. You can always check FileMaker's website for the closest available developer to your country or city. So for now, this is Richard Carlton. I'll catch you in the next video.